I was always interested in how things work and how to put things together. And unusual for people who f do science research in general, I always found science to be a creative pursuit as opposed to a hard book um, kind of thing. And for me, the creativity is like solving a puzzle, trying to understand how two or three things when put together operate completely differently than those individual things by themselves. And this kind of interest got me excited about nanotechnology, which sounds like it's something very new, but in fact it's a very old technology. It was originally used as early as the Roman times. The Roman glass that has different colors actually has nanotechnology in it. Uh, nanotechnology became a science about 50 years ago, and it was a culmination of our understanding about how atoms and molecules work together and how they work with each other in the human body and in nature. And so my interest in doing research in nanotechnology was to learn how to make new kinds of nanotechnology that are safe and effective and to understand better how they work with our bodies. Yeah. Now, sometimes our bodies don't do everything the way we want them to do it. And uh, I like to look at the digestive tract pretty much as a nano machine that its job is to take big things, nutrients, mm -hmm. and to render them to the size that would allow them to pass through the gut membrane into the bloodstream and to actually get inside cells. And to do that, I think you'd have to be at the low end of the micro and in the nano and the pico range. Is that not correct in terms of size? to get into a cell? Uh, definitely, micron, micron size is important. Also important is the right signaling molecules. So mm -hmm. your body, body naturally makes signaling molecules to attach to the foods you eat so that they can get through your intestinal wall well. If you're eating something that's not a food substance but is a, a supplement, then your body has to do the same thing. And so it's important that the supplements you take mesh with what your body naturally wants to do in, its, in the digestive system. Absolutely. So that what we can do is give a head start to the body by taking things which are large outside the body and rendering them to very, very small size so that the digestive process is really honing the change and not being the total change because at the nanoscale these things can then be tagged by the body to be used where the body needs them, how they need them, and also small things can be rejected when they shouldn't be there. That's correct and also you have to remember that someone who is in need of taking a supplement is already somewhat unhealthy and their digestive system isn't working optimally and so any help that you can give it to get the nutritious or beneficial substance to your intestine so it can do what nature intended for it to do will only make it a better product. Yeah.